hi guys by the end of this video you are going to have a chatbot like this which you can embed on any website you know there are so many service providers that charges a monthly subscription for creating these kind of chatbots and i can't wait to show you that it's so easy to create one using just html some css and javascript so this really works i'm going to show you a demo so what is the let's say capital of japan and you can see the output here that is pretty fast because i'm using grok cloud here so grok is an inference engine it's pretty fast so we use the apis here as a matter of fact you can use any llm for that purpose uh, i've just used grog in this case so let's go through the code so we need three files here the html file which is the index.html then we have the css for the styling and then we have the javascript for the controls so if i run this on this port we have this chatbot here and if i just go and do the inspect elements we can see how this chatbot was created so you can see we have this head section we have the body section inside the body we have a button a, a button of or the class of chatbot toggler which will toggle the chatbot here and then we have the entire chatbot itself so the first thing we have this text here in a h2 tag then we have an image we have this chatbot we have this incoming and outgoing chat messages which are displayed appropriately and depending on the length of the messages uh, we have this bordered section pretty well so that is the html part and we have also incorporated the style.css you can have a look and you can see the css and for the javascript section uh, which we have in this code script.js so here we have the api key of grog here so this is the api key so how to get the api key i go to console.grog.com com and then we click on api keys we create a key uh, put in any name and click on submit so once we have uh, this key we copy this key and just paste it in this location now we also need uh, to put in these headers and uh, these in the body section when we run the curl command and this is the url that we are pointing to so these are a few things that we need if you want to change it for the open ai you need to change it here uh, and the name of the model here the rest of the things should be the same if we try with open ai as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to link this code to my patreon page and you can just download this code here from the patreon page I'll put a link to the Patreon page. You can join it and download the code. This should improve your idea of creating a chatbot just like this. And just a matter of fact, I've used ChatGPT to create all this and it's pretty simple. So you don't need to waste your hard earned money for the chatbot services. You can embed it with any website and it's pretty cool. You can also, you know, this is the front end. Once you have the front end, you can then build the back end and make an API call. You can run the back end with any rack services or any of the services that you can imagine. So you just need to call that particular endpoint and you can display the output here. So this is just a front end. So uh, what I would like to request is to subscribe to my channel join my patreon get access to the code and i also have other things going on on my patreon i have so many codes and i've decided to put all the codes in the patreon section uh, just a cheap and an easy way to follow me and uh, get access to my codes also i would like to ask if you would like a dedicated tutorial on the html javascript and css if that's so i would like would be very happy to create a tutorial a lengthy tutorial on each of the section but this channel is primarily focused on the back-end stuff 
mostly but i feel that the front end part is something that we should uh, dip our feet as well so having said that this is your host prompt engineer i will see you in the next video happy coding thank you